it's time to get creative with time travel. Uh, what? No, no, stop! We're not doing that type of time travel. We did that in another video. You check it out right out there if you want to. Today, we are doing the 10 year challenge. Everyone is doing this challenge on Instagram right now, posting photos like this or that or this or that. I love it, but I mean, why? Basically, the, the idea is that you post a photo from 2019 and from 2009, and, and that's it. I can't do a video with this challenge without showing a photo of myself from 2009. So, this is me. Now that you've seen me as a teenager, let's move on and make something much more fun. Because because I noticed that cartoon characters, they don't age a day. So how could they possibly make the 10 year challenge without my help? Today, we're gonna draw famous cartoon characters to look 10 years older or 100 years older or just make them look their actual age. I actually already asked you guys on my Instagram, who do you want me to draw in an old people version? So uh, let's see what you guys said. Yes, someone said Pikachu. I really wanted to draw Pikachu as an old Pikachu. Let's do it. A very good tip if you want to be better at drawing cartoon characters is drawing actual famous cartoon characters. And when you do that, you're able to practice drawing in a new style and drawing in a new way. There's no shame in going on Google, finding your favorite characters and just drawing those. I have Pikachu, which is probably my favorite cartoon character. I want to draw Pikachu as a really old Pikachu. Like after all the battles and he's like just this old kind of rich guy. Let's sketch out something here. So I'll give him a bigger nose. That's a good tip. Old people get big ears and big noses. So that's a good way of uh, making someone look older. And then his eyes would probably be a little more squinchy. So I'll give him like these big bushy granddad eyebrows. I think Pikachu should have this Monopoly mustache and maybe his cheeks are gonna be a little more wrinkly. Oh yeah, of course, he should have like fancy hat of some sorts. We'll make him a little fatter. We'll give him a little tummy. He likes eating all Brock's food. Oh, I know, I know. We are gonna give Pikachu a cane and the cane is gonna be a Pokeball, of course. The Pokeball he never wanted to get trapped inside. That's it! Oh. oh! He looks so old! Okay, let's draw this up and put some color on it. guys said I should try to draw Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo, but I've, I've never actually tried to draw him before. And did you know that Scooby-Doo is actually 50 years old? The cartoon is 50 years old, so he must be as well. So let's try to draw Scooby-Doo as a 50-year-old crime-fighting dog. So his nose is pretty big, we'll keep it like that. I think he would have like more of a beard, because he's older. He'd still be smiling. Scooby-Doo is always happy or scared. He should definitely have these big, bushy, black eyebrows, and then his cute eyes, but with wrinkles. Cause, I mean, he's old, he's tired. His ears will probably be hanging instead of like this, they'll be droopy, like that's what happens to old dogs. But maybe, I think he would probably have received some kind of award or medal from the president for being the best crime-fighting dog ever. Because he, re he retired, I think. He, he's retired now. So he would probably wear this big trophy around his chest. That's the face. <laughs> he already looks cuter. Oh, I feel like Scooby-Doo would probably, at this age, he's retired. He can't run after the, the, the villains anymore. So, so he's probably, maybe he needs a, some kind of walking aid. So that's a thigh right there, and that's his foot. I've never drawn anything like this before. I'm a, it's a little bit difficult. That's arm and another arm here. 
and of course his tail. I think he would be kind of dragging his tail. He's a tired old, old dog. <laughs> I'll put on some slippers on him. Spyro. Do you guys know this game? Spyro is like an, this epic PlayStation game. I used to play it when I was younger. This brings back so many memories. I've been playing this for like thousands and thousands of hours. Did I ever manage to get through the entire game? No, because I was very bad at it. Okay, anyways, we're gonna do Spyro. I don't care. What I'm looking for when I'm drawing these cartoon characters is what are their characteristics? Things that I really need to be certain to get into the new drawing. So for Spyro, it's the purple color, the big yellow horns, maybe also the tail that kind of looks like uh, an ice cream cone. Uh, so I'm gonna try and get those things into the new drawing. So we're gonna draw him as now he's probably gonna be like 25 or whatever years old. And I feel like a 20 year old adult dragon is a really awesome, cool looking dragon. He has this spiky hair, which I think we're gonna keep. And then he has the horns, they are probably way bigger. An adult dragon needs very big, nasty fangs sticking out of his mouth. And then I feel like we need to do something drastic about his body because this is way too small. I want him to look really scary. So we need to draw an entire new body for Spyro. So I'm using circles and lines to kind of make up the body as I go. That's a very nice way of sketching. If uh, you're not really certain about what you're drawing, but you're still trying to kind of shape the thing as you draw. So we'll do a neck here. I forgot that Spyro has wings. So we're gonna draw the tail differently. I feel like I drew the neck a little too short. So I'm just gonna remove it. Just gonna move it down a little bit like this. Okay, now we've got a dragon. This is looking cool. This is gonna be a cool Spyro. Everyone is saying, draw Phineas and Ferb. <sighs> okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. I just think it's it's gonna be difficult, guys. Phineas and Ferb are these two boys. They're like 10 years old, and I think it's not fun just adding 10 years. I think we should add like 50 years and draw them as granddads. Uh, I imagine that Phineas and Ferb would probably always live together and always just prank everyone and make funny and cute experiments. They would, of course, do that at the age of 60 as well. So the cartoon style of Phineas and Ferb is very different from the way I draw. I like to have a black outline and I like to draw with a lot of detail. This is much less detailed and there's no outlines. So this is gonna be difficult and it's a good challenge for you guys as well. If you wanna practice a new style of drawing, then just try to copy paste someone else's style. Let's see, I'll draw Ferb's nose way bigger. Ferb has this green hair but I think it would be fun just to draw him bald, because, I mean, he lost his hair. I feel like he would still wear the same outfit though, but he would probably be wearing a tie. <laughs> why? I don't know why he would wear these purple pants still as a granddad. Oh, maybe he would actually, instead of wearing the belt that he's wearing, he would wear suspenders and he would be like holding his back. It's a very granddad way of being like, oh. Oh, and maybe, maybe he would have this really awkward green mustache. Okay, it's time for Phineas. Wait, Phineas's nose is so big, I can't make it bigger. So I'll have to, I'll have to, to just keep it as it is. Whoever came up with this character, I mean, how could you put the eyes on top of someone's head and then just make that into a character? Maybe he lost his teeth, so he just has gums now. So since Phineas is a, he's an outdoor person, but he's also an old person, he would probably wear sandals with socks in them. It's comfy, but you don't get cool feet. I mean, socks and sandals is just, it's great. I know it's frowned upon by some people, like everyone in the entire fashion industry, but I like it. Go be free, Phineas. Go be free. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I love this.
so much fun making this video and it took forever. Guys, if you want another video like this, make sure to like this video and comment it down below. Who do you want me to draw for another 10 year challenge? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday because I post videos every Sunday. How do I say goodbye in an old people kind of way? Farewell, my child. Get off my lawn. You young people nowadays. You know nothing about the war. <coughs> Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it inspired you to be more creative. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.